Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the throttle return spring on your engine, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. And close the fuel valve. Press the retaining tabs down to release the air housing cover and set the cover and air filter aside. Use a 10 mm socket to unthread the mounting bolts, securing the air filter housing and carburetor. Detach the filter housing from the breather tube. Next, release the retaining clamp and detach the fuel line from the carburetor. Disconnect the throttle return spring and the governor rod from the carburetor and the governor arm. Slide the old spring off of the governor rod. Install the new throttle return spring by sliding it onto the rod so the short end of the spring will be closest to the governor arm. Attach the spring and the rod to the arm. Attach the spring and rod to the throttle arm on the carburetor. Attach the fuel line and secure with the clamp. Next, attach the breather tube to the air filter housing. Insert the mounting bolts through the housing. Slide on the air cleaner gasket, followed by the carburetor. Now slide on the air guide gasket, followed by the choke control assembly. Slide on the intake gasket, then thread the bolts into the engine and tighten to secure. Replace the air filter in the housing, then align the lower cover tabs with the housing and snap the upper tabs into place. With the repair completed, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug, open the fuel valve, and your engine should be ready for use. 